Hello, hello, hello! So, it is Divine Chest Week as part of the final Time Rift event. So, in this, we've got Divine Chests, which we are going to be opening up some of those in a second. But we also have the Boss Challenge event, which is going to be a way to generate a lot of extra tickets. And, of course, the Divine Bottomless Dungeon, which will net us tons and tons of bonus tickets as well. And plus, we're also going to be finishing off the um, Sea Slug Sigil campaign map today. But anyway, let us get into this boss challenge event and this dungeon so that we can get a few extra Divine tickets so that we can open up some more chests. Um, so these are just talking about the Time Rift, I suppose, at the moment. But in this event, if you finish four rounds, you can get yourself the Priestess Dragon, which is a returning dragon. Oh, look at Orange Throat, he's so cute. But these boss challenge events, by completing boss battles and by finishing off rounds, you can get yourself bonus divine tickets. So when you've done sort of the first round of the event, all of these battles are going to be every two hours which can be a pain to keep track of, but you'll see that to begin with, it'll be like a minute, then two minutes, then five minutes. So you'll be coming back really frequently to do more fights, get yourself some more divine tickets. It's the same boss challenge that we've seen quite a few times before. So then if we jump into the dungeon here, of course, by doing dungeon fights, you can get yourself fight bonuses and you can open chests. So I saved up a little bit of event currency here. And oh my god, that's 20 tickets out of that one blue chest. Whew! Oh, that feels good, dude. That feels super good because you're going to need every single divine ticket that you can get your hands on. But what you get out of those blue chests and all the other chests is actually slightly randomized. So every chest will give divine tickets, but the amount that it gives you will depend a little bit on luck. So that one's given us eight out of that green chest. We should be able to open this next blue one and we'll see how many we get. Another 20? See, that one was 12. So there is a lot of variance in terms of how many tickets you're going to be getting out of those blue chests. So um, keep that in mind. But even the red chests give three um, divine tickets. So um, the red ticket, oh, the red chests are definitely, definitely worth opening. Also... Um, I almost said Ancient Ticket because it, it does say Ancient Ticket and they're obviously not Ancient Tickets. Um, just ignore that, okay? Just, just, just ignore it. There's a there's a few um, issues going on at the moment which we're just going to ignore. We're going to pretend like they don't exist and uh, we should be good to go. So then we can't really do any more at the moment, but in this final multi-open chest... It says it contains a guaranteed weekly dragon after a bunch of opens along with other goodies and there will be dragons available in this purple chest up to the end of the divine event. So um, if you're missing pieces of Chrono Changi, for example, there are going to be pieces for Chrono Changi. Um, well, there's going to be pieces for every dragon in the final chest, so keep all of that in mind. So I've just gone ahead and gotten some more of those tickets. We're probably also going to get weekend events that are going to give us some more. But let's go and open some Divine Chests because, you know, we've got 84 tickets. That's going to start us off. And um, you can also buy yourself a totem, which will generate one ticket every six hours. Um, I don't really like having to buy these. They do generate extras, but I'm not going to bother. So... If we're actually looking at these divine chests, of course, normally the drop rates for the dragons in here for the divines are quite low. And I don't think that's really any different this time around. If we check the actual divine chest, it says for every 100 divine chests opened, you should expect 42 divine dragon pieces, 19 legendary pieces. So getting legendary dragon pieces is extremely unlikely. 165 epic pieces and 103 rare pieces. So, getting Orange Throat is going to be one of my main goals with this. Of course, we've also got the main two in this chest, which is the Divine Chrono Osiris Dragon. And we also have Seth. And Seth is going to be available in both Divine Chests for both Divine Chest Weeks. But Chrono Osiris, who requires 300 pieces, will only be available in this week's chest. 
and this week's chest does indeed only last for seven days. So you've got seven days to get enough tickets to um, try and get Chrono Osiris. So God help us with these drop rates. Um, most of you probably know that I am not a big fan of loot boxes and these sorts of things in general, but we'll give it a go. We'll see what sort of luck we get. We've got 20 pieces for Orange Throat already and a 10 for that Lilac Horn. So again, that's not too bad. You will get three chests as well for every 10 opened and for every 50 opened, you'll get two pieces of Chrono Osiris. And wow, we've got a red talent already. I mean, I already had a red talent, I think, but sure, there's a dragon already. Fantastic. And 20 pieces of full furnace is actually not too bad. But yeah, there we go. We've got a red talon dragon. And you'll see that you can also get stuff like gold. You can get food. You can get loads of decorations. So this is a good time to get lots and lots of extra food and gold as well as everything else. But really, I'm not too bothered about the other pieces. But, you know, getting pieces for Seth would be fantastic. How many red throat pieces do you want to give me again? I'm um, not red throat, red talon. What the heck? You know, I've already got it now. I really don't need any more. And, you know, you can tell whether you've got divine pieces in a chest because you get like a weird swirly thing around it. So I could tell there that I wasn't going to get it. So here we could take a duplicate lilac horn. I think I already have a duplicate, so I'm just going to take a, a ticket instead. But that's already two dragons out of these chests and we've barely opened any whatsoever. But, again, regardless of what happens with all the others, the main ones that are going to matter this week are going to be that new Orange Throat. Oh my god, stop! Um, Orange Throat and the Divines. Which, you know, the Divines we seem to be getting no pieces of, but we seem to be getting everything of everything else. But, you know, it's all luck. It's all RNG. You can't do anything else to change your chest odds. It doesn't matter how many times you click the chest it doesn't matter what you do before you open anything it is completely down to luck as to what you're gonna get in these chests and with only a week to get chrono osiris good luck to any of you out there that wanted it because um i doubt the chest odds are going to be fantastically in our favor this week maybe they will be but i would be happily proven wrong I'm sure the wiki will update itself with all of the drop rates very quickly, but um, I don't think the page is available yet. So for now, we will just um, say it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> Getting Ultimate Kronos, you do have to get Chrono Osiris as well, so it's very unlikely that you're going to be able to do it free to play from what I can see, because you know we're going to be getting tickets out of the dungeon and tickets out of the boss challenge. Is it really going to be enough to get 300 pieces? Probably not. Oh, screw it. I'm fine. I'll get one more duplicate lilac horn. But apart from that, I just want Orange Throat, Seth, and Osiris. Those are my main boys to go for. So, that's all of my divine tickets spent for now. Uh, we'll keep getting more out of, like I said, the boss challenge event and the dungeon. So that's going to require just constantly coming back, doing these fights when they're available. And, um, you know, dungeon, it will depend on your team as to how successful you're going to be in that. So, um, best, best, best of luck to you. It's not going to be easy getting Chrono Osiris. And by easy, I mean it's going to require a lot of repetitive stuff. But anyway... Aside from that, something slightly more entertaining for me. We're going to be finishing off the Sigil campaign map this time around. Oh my god, I love, I love Asteroid. He's so cute. Such a cute dragon. He's just got a very cool design overall. So, um, that's him. And oh my goodness, we are getting decimated. Can we not fail this fight, please? That would also be embarrassing. Um, so let's hope that this works. We should be able to survive this, I think. Think it's just sometimes with these berserker dragons they can screw us over a little bit but easy peasy lemon squeezing we do have most of our team members now have um rare sigils as in two rare sigils not all of them but andy has it our ikez dragon is i think the only one that's actually lacking it our lantern dragon has two rares uh hermes dragon has two rares so um We've been doing 
good in the sigils department. We don't have any epics yet, but I'm sure that will happen in due course. In due course. But for now, I'm just happy that we're going to get our hands on Sea Slug. We're going to have a new map that's completed. And we can feel pretty good about that. And so even if our Divine Chest luck sucks, at least something's going right in our lives, right? Better than nothing. And yeah, whatever. We'll take out the Armadillo. As long as we keep one of our team members alive with Nezha, and um, Morris fights are just like a, a, a walk in the park. An absolute walk in the park. But, you know, sometimes with dragons that have things like cruelty, which are luck based, it can suck. Because they'll just randomly do a ton of damage and it's like, oh, I didn't realize that um, <laughs> one of my dragons just died. <laughs> Feels good to be me, right? Anyway, there we go. That's this fight done. Very cool, we get some of those sigil tokens. And finally, moving on to the Blazebird final boss fight. It has Reverb and Havoc. So, you know, Reverb is probably because it's a phoenix. Um, but it's dead, and it's dead. Easiest fight in my life. So there we go. Sigil campaign finitoed. Congrats, you've completed this season's Sigil campaign in time. And there is a wonderful, scrumptious, blue sea sluggy dragon. Done. So now that fight 230 is done, all that we can really do is go back to old fights and try and get three stars in them. Um, will I bother? Probably not. I am desperate for the fusion materials, but I don't know if I care enough to do that. So I guess we'll go and throw that egg into our hatchery. So let's hatch this boy as well. We've just got loads of stuff to do today, really. I guess we'll do the boss challenge of fight first. You know, trying to be at least a little bit optimal. And of course, it's a lilac horn after I just saw like eight of those in a in the divine chess. Anyway, we have a wonderful, beautiful mineral dragon egg here. He is indeed a legendary, and he was part of the Dragon Master Pass. But, um, you know, overall, I'm just happy that we've got new dragons that came out in this update and this um, final Time Rift event overall. And he is a legendary Earth and Wind dragon, which is kind of weird for how he looks. So mineral dragons grow a variety of stones from their skin and shed them often. However, the prettiest ones can't be dislodged and become more numerous with age. Don't even try to touch. I read that as I literally go ahead and touch it. Look, I touch it and it goes like, Ugh. it does like a shiver. I guess, don't try and touch it. Don't be like me. So that marks number 546. Is that unique species on here, not including the ones on Android? Very cool. Very cool, Boaty. Um, I'm not a major fan of the baby. I mean, it's cute, don't get me wrong, but the adult I really like. Little Boaty here just has a very, very cute adult design, which I can definitely get behind. So I will level him up to level 20, like I normally do, because it gives us bonus dragon collector points. Um, takes us to the first stage of awakening if we ever want to do it for some reason. But look at those horns! He's got a cute look on his face. Aww. How adorable. Again, this is one of the reasons I actually did want to buy the Dragon Master Pass this time, because I didn't buy the other previous ones. So getting him, getting four Apollo Dragons, and all the other bonuses, yeah, I'm pretty okay with that purchase this time around. I'm not someone that buys a lot of things in game in DML. It's just, um, this time around it seems relatively worth it. So let's go into our Egos over here. Where are you? Oh, I guess we didn't have Red Talon before. Wonderful, then. Well, there's another new dragon as well for us to get. Nice. But we're going to go hatch our Sea Slug Dragon, so that's going to be another 18 hours. We'll have our third Apollo hatching in around about that time frame. And plus, we've got a Cancer Dragon Egg sitting in our, in our breeding den here. So that'll be done soon. We've got loads of random dragons going on. I don't know why I participated in the Breeding Blitz event. It's just, I thought, you know, let's do it for the meme. Bread cancer on my first try. And that's basically life, isn't it? But anyway, 
Generally speaking, that is pretty much all the new stuff that's going on in DML. So this entire week is going to be dedicated to us generating or getting divine tickets from anywhere that we can and uh, using them to open up these chests. But these drop rates are not fantastic. Again, if you think every 100 chests opened, you'll see 42 divine pieces. Considering there are two divines in this chest, this means that that's going to be like, what, 20 per divine on average? that every 100 chests opened. So try and get 300 pieces for Osiris and 120 for Seth. Uh, although Seth is available um, the next week as well, but trying to get Chrono Osiris even? That's a lot of chests on average. As in, if you don't get a full piece of Osiris, you're not getting Osiris. I think that's like a 0.001%. Last time I checked, maybe the odds are slightly different this time, but it's not likely. It's like over 10,000 chests on average, but anyway, anyone that does manage to get the full pieces, best of luck, and um, you know, that's basically basically your lottery ticket for the, for the year if you do manage to get either of them in full pieces. So, power to you. I hope you get all the dragons that you want to get. If you don't, at least get something cool, like the food and everything else. Maybe get a black hole out of the dungeon. That would be cool as well. But for now, thank you very much for joining me. And uh, until next time, I hope. See you then.